Ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is The Medium. Two quick reminders before we jump into it. First off, you are an awesome person, so keep being awesome to others, okay? Secondly, if you're not already, hit that subscribe button down below. Use the notification bell, that way you're aware when I upload new videos, okay? All right, let's find out where this game is gonna take us now, because it sounds like we're going out to a lake to take a dip, but I don't know. Let's find out, shall we? All right. What is the big deal going on at the lake? Okay, and we are forced into somber walk mode because the run button, or slight jog button, is not working. Oh, this must be a back door of some kind. Um... I'm really worried about this music. Something is different. Okay, I don't I don't like the addition of this music. Purely because of copyright reasons. I'm worried about it for that. Um We're gonna take the risk. We're gonna take our risk on it and see see if it will be okay cuz normally when you get this kind of music i can feel it so clearly now normally you get this kind of music it's in a menu screen where i can just mute it and not care but she's actually like talking occasionally there's still ambient noise i don't want to mute that so i'm just going to kind of talk over it some and see if that helps any at all and we're just going to take the risk on copyright. Um, I really don't like the fact that it's doing this to me. But I, I get it. I'm sure that the song is probably very fitting for what's going on here. Okay. And here we are into the cutscene. And there's somebody waiting for us on the dock to the lake. Interesting. Interesting. Do I get control back or no? No. We are doing this cutscene style. When the fire broke out at our house, I made a deal. The part of my soul that was tormented was set loose. You mean the monster? But why? To save you helped us escape the flames, but in return, I had to set it free. Free to devour, to destroy, to kill, and even massacre. Yes. 
all those people died so that we could live. Because I lived, so did my demons. Father knew my powers were too dangerous. left you at the hospital so you could have a normal life. And what about you? Did he try to? No. Maybe he should have. But he couldn't bring himself to do it. Instead, he locked me away. He only delayed the inevitable. Monster. It got out. And now you're here. You're the only one who can fix this. You. We both share our father's gifts. But also his fate. And the dream. The Charisma. But... All I see is a girl. You. Shot dead. Here, on this pier. Hasn't it already happened? No. I think you just prophesied Set your sister's death. The dream. It's what I want to happen. What? It all ends. No. N no! Can't send a spirit away while the host is still alive. That's why you couldn't destroy the monster. That's why Sadness didn't want to go. But... You're my sister. That's why it has to be you. I... I'm not strong enough. It, it won't let me. Only you can end this. Only you can fix what our father could not. Liliana, I can't. Please, don't I'm make sorry. me do this. It's the only way to destroy it. To prevent further bloodshed. Lily? <laughs> oh. Marianne? What's going on? Skin suit. No, too soon. strong enough to sustain you. The others? They only lasted for so long before you broke them down. Marianne, please. I don't want Maybe this. Maybe it's not your choice. Maybe this is my story after all. No! Stop Don't do it. this! Please, sister. Set me free. No! Stay back! Stay back!
it all starts with a dead girl. That hit about 11 different flavors of darkness. Holy shit. And we don't know which one. Oh, wow. So we're going full on cliffhanger on this too. All right, sorry. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and not get hit twice with copyright on this because I'm assuming this music is copyrighted as well. I, I don't know what to say on that one. That's wild. Because you can't send away. How would that work? Realistically, I mean, you like she said, you can't send it away while the host is still alive. But it's also burning itself out. She, Lily, just isn't strong enough to sustain it anymore. And it's tried using others, but they're not anywhere close to strong enough either. Marianne was the only one that was strong enough to sustain it. So it's trying its best to use her, but it can't if she takes herself out. So it would still end up dying. But of course, then again, so would Lily. Oh, did I see just, I just saw Troy Baker's name. Okay. Wasn't expecting to see that name. Anyways, so it, it creates an interesting question on which way would it go? Like, which one of them would have gotten shot? Because on one hand, you're... If it's Marianne that gets shot, Lily will still die because she's being used up by that monster. But if it's Lily that gets shot, that monster could try to jump, so to speak, and get into Marianne. And potentially, if it wins, then that's all manners of bad news right there. So I'm not sure which way it would actually work out better and I gotta say it, it's very interesting that they decided to not show which one went down like they they just cut to black and all you hear is a gunshot but you don't know which one got shot I mean, to be fair, it, it does leave it open for, not only for interpretation, but potentially if they decided to come back and be like, hey, we're making a second game. I mean, it would make it easier that way. Because you don't have to explain anything. But I don't know that it's, I don't know that this is a really the kind of game that they would decide to make a second one. This feels very much like a, hey, we had a cool story we wanted to tell. We've told that story. We don't feel like we need to do anything more with it. So, I don't know. Either way, it, it's... This is definitely, I think, the darkest game that I've played on the channel. Like, insofar as the themes and the kind of things that they talk about in it, it just... I mean, Tomb Raider flirted with some dark stuff, Hellblade got into it pretty good. The Walking Dead touches on it, but it doesn't go hard on it. This game... This game goes very hard on the darkness. So, I don't know. It... I guess it could have gone either way. Yeah, Troy Baker was involved in this. Interesting. Oh, they actually have... 
credits for the pieces of artwork that were shown in the game. Intro credit scene, archival materials. Oh, okay. Looks like we're getting down to the end of the credits, I'm assuming. Which, of course, you know, assuming is a bad thing to do. And it's still copyright music the entire way through. Cool. Well, I think the music has ended. We're going to go ahead, unmute, just in case there's some kind of epilogue to it that explains things. Aha. Yeah, see? All those years of Marvel and their end credit scenes has trained me. Always stick until the end. Oh, there's the pocket watch. Kind of a weird thing to have in your the end of your game, but okay. Oh, okay, the menu screen just got a lot creepier. Cool. Oh, that nightmare. Very interesting game. I was not expecting us to be all the way to the end. I didn't think it was going to end this episode. I, I thought it was going to have at least one more. But yeah, that was, it was definitely a very unusual game. Very in-depth and very dark storyline. I will say the the next game that I play, I would like it to not have that... Um, what's the right word? Almost tank controls. Uh, where here's a set image and you can only move around in it and then as you cross to the next segment of the environment, the camera angle is going to change. And so the controls all change. I think the next game I play, I would really like to avoid that if I can, because that does get kind of irritating. Admittedly, it might not be as bad if I was playing on controller, but I played this entire game on keyboard and mouse because I'm on PC. Why wouldn't I use keyboard and mouse? It's, it gets kind of rough. So, also, I'm thinking the next game that I play will be, shall we say, happier? Because, like I said, this was a very rough game. It's a very dark game. Kind of depressing. So, hopefully the next game that I play will be a little bit happier. Maybe. Or maybe not. Who knows? Maybe it'll be something more like this. I don't know. We'll find out next time, won't we? So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Help keep the YouTube overlords happy. And if you want to see what's coming up next, or just be aware anytime that I'm uploading a video, well, subscribe and use that little content, that little notification bell. That way, you know. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember that life does get rough sometimes. So good luck, have fun, stay awesome. And I will see you in the next one.